if I told you there's a sport that requires very little physical activity? What if I told you millions of people watch that sport every single day? That sport is eSports. Now we've all grown up being told by our parents that video games will get us nowhere in life and we should just stop playing them. eSports is changing the sporting world and that perception. Today I'm going to talk about the fundamentals of eSports and how eSports compares to traditional sports. According to Juho Hamurai, a professor of gamification who wrote the article, What is Esports and Why Do People Watch It? in 2017, is the definition of esports is any video game played at a competitive level against other people online. There are many different ways esports are played, mainly through the use of PCs, which stands for personal computers, which are oftentimes specially tailored to play that specific game. There are also casual ways of play and tournament play. Tournament play is usually big filmed events with lots of seating for fans to watch. They usually involve high profile teams facing off against each other, literally across a stage in front of computers. The other way is casual play, which is often provided by game developers themselves inside of the game itself. This could be anything from a competitive play tab to a, a custom game that players can set up. There are many different types of popular games that are played. The two most popular esports games are MOBAs and FPS. A MOBA stands for the Multiplayer Battle Arena, which involves two teams going against each other to destroy towers and the enemy base. An FPS stands for a first-person shooter which usually involves players going against another team to gain points and defeat the enemy team. According to Hilary Lamb, a Time journalist who wrote the article The Rise of Esports in Higher Education in 2017, the most popular esport currently, game played at an esport level currently, is Dota 2. Prize pools for winning a tournament that involves Dota 2 can be upwards of $20 million. Other, games pop, other popular games played at an esports level are Overwatch, League of Legends, and Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now that I have told you about the fundamentals of esports, I'm going to tell you about how esports compare to traditional sports. There are many differences and similarities between the two. For instance, a football player will focus on training his agility, his speed, and his strength. An esports player, however, will focus on training his reflexes, his situational awareness, and his teamwork. According to Stephanie Epstein, a journalist for Sports Illustrated who wrote the article Gamer Shape in 2017, teams, esports teams will often live in houses together, which will increase their bonds and teamwork. They will play for nearly 14 hours a day complete training, their reflexes, and situa situational awareness. There's also differences in viewership. Ca regular sports are, are televised over the TV every Sunday, Monday, whenever. But eSports games are televised every Sunday or whenever they the game developer decides to run a tournament over the internet usually on sites like Twitch and YouTube. There are also many different ways that players interact with their audiences, which are greater than regular football players or soccer players. Esports players will often play their games casually on Twitch, which is a live streaming website, and they will interact with fans directly, speak with them, and answer questions. Today I have told you about how esports. Today I have told you about the fundamentals of esports and how they compare to traditional sports. I have told you about how esports, how esports plays, what what games are played, and I have also told you about how esports compare to traditional sports in both physical requirement and tele and distribution. 
Esports is changing the sporting world. And I hope, now that I've informed you about it, you'd be willing to watch a sport that requires very little physical activity.